Greetings and salutation YouTube, this is The Manga Knight. And I'm Little Ren. And here we're talking about our first impressions of Space Day, a brand new anime just came out earlier this year, brought to you by the same people who, who made Cowboy Bebop and, and that Samurai Shampoo and, and the same animators who, who made Full Metal Alchemist. Mm -hmm. It has everything you can possibly want anime. Yeah. It, it, it got action and, and, and pompadours yeah. and, and space battles mm -hmm. and, and, and tits. And yeah, restaurants, yeah. and more titties, yeah. and a restaurant again. Yeah, and then that's obviously how far you got in the whole anime, because other than that, there's... Uh, you said that like there's more there, things. There's more, but it's really not that much to be excited about, in my personal opinion. Don't kill me, Facebook. Um, I just think Facebook that... Facebook doesn't do that. Uh, I think that there was... Let's just say... I'm glad that there was a lot of hype for this because it made me watch it, but I don't think it would have got a lot of people to watch it as soon as it came out if it hadn't been hyped behind the name of Cowboy Bebop and Samurai Shampoo. Uh, okay, just so you're saying, from what, from what I'm trying to understand is, mm -hmm. you don't like it because of the hype. No, I'm not saying I don't like it. Are you it. one of those people, everyone else likes it, so I don't like it. I'm not one of those quote-unquote elitist anime watchers. I saw that uh, I don't watch anime because made. my cousin watches anime, and that makes me not want to watch Naruto. But, oh, I don't watch Naruto, but this has nothing to do with Space Dandy. I just felt like it was a little bit too extreme and a little bit too... Not even a little bit too extreme. It just had all these elements. They had the, the space cowboy sort of bounty hunter guy. It had the cute furry sidekick and the cute digital robot and space and we're out there. And then it just kind of mushed it all together and just threw it in my face in a very incomprehensible sort of way. And I wasn't very sold at the first episode. Okay. I I, I was gonna lie and say I, I, I see where you're coming from, but I really don't see where <laughs> you're coming from. Okay, Listen, well, understand. maybe this. I'm you're, on too you're... much Piodium to Piodium? be able to understand yes, how this is. Yes, element, just like in real life. Don't ask me how I know that. But listen, from, from what I'm hearing, you're looking way too hard at this. Okay, like am I? Yes, am, am yes, I? As really an anime are. critic, I'm looking too hard at an too anime. Too hard. Like you gotta like That's you gotta funny. take. Wait, were you just being an asshole? Continue. Like I was, like I was saying. The first moment I saw the previews to this, I knew for a fact, you can't take it seriously, it's super awesome, it's out there, it's crazy, mm -hmm, with yes. different dimensional space tripping balls and all that kind of stuff. That. And that's what I wanted to see. It made me laugh. And like I told you earlier, mm -hmm. anything that makes me laugh, I'm going to gravitate more because it's harder to make someone, it's easier to see, get someone drawn in by action mm -hmm. than it is to make someone laugh. And that's what I love about this. I understand, and it's, it does have like, it, to me, it's just not even. You know, if I watch something and it's funny, and I'm watching it for funny, then I can understand that. There are funny anime out there. Usually they're like, you know, high school comedies. Yeah, but they're all like Japanese tailored funny. Right, but It was this, like, wow, that was funny. If I lived in Japan and I got the reference, but I can see why that was funny. Understandable, but I'm watching this because I like the aspect of being in space and they have so such a you, you say multiple multiple dimensions which yes that is a thing in terms of space wormholes but also multi-dimensional as in the storyline like i want to see what they're doing in space he's a bounty hunter he's hunting for aliens to me that's where I, that that drew me in that's what i wanted to see i wanted to see him going off on these adventures interacting with different aliens for god's sakes when and the I, first episode ended where all the reject kaiju from pacific rim and fought that each other to the death. was awesome that was awesome yes. that is what got yes. me to be to say, you know what, Little Ren, you should give number two a chance because of this epic scene that came out of nowhere at the end of the first episode. They had aliens fighting random space robot golems, and that was awesome. I love that. It gives thumbs ups. As he's sinking into a disgusting pit of who knows what on this random planet, which, like I said, that part was awesome. Everything leading up to that, there were a few quirky parts that made me giggle, like, heh, <laughs> restaurant, heh, <laughs> hooters in space, heh, <laughs> little cute little, like, cat person taking pictures. Space pimp. But other than that, but other than that, I was, I was underwhelmed. That's it. I was underwhelmed until the very end. Yeah. Okay. Well, once again, I, I'm not even lie to you. I, I still don't get you. I, I can see why you would feel the way. Look, I came here to laugh. It made me laugh. Mission accomplished. And I see nothing but great things about this. Like just, episode 2 was even better than episode 1, and I thought I wasn't even going to feel that episode way. Episode 2 was good because now I can see that Samurai Shampoo element where they actually have a crazy bout of things going on. Oh, and the references. But in, about the references. Yeah, they do throw in, thankfully, something that reminds you, hey, remember Sam, remember Cowboy Bebop? We have that in our anime. 
But the Samurai Shampoo reference is where you have this crazy stuff going on, and then right at, towards the end, they throw in a little bit of like, like the feels for you, like a cute little story that really kind of capped your attention. You're like, wow, that was very interestingly put. I kind of like that. And that it still made, me, made you laugh. Yeah, and that in itself, like you get a little bit of an actual story, and that to me is enough to capture me to go to episode three. <laughs> If they continue to do something like that. The first episode I just felt was just a random bit of just throwing blah 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 space colors at my face. And then number two, it started out that way and it just worked its way in magically to be like, hey little Ren, we, we still want you to watch. And that's what's gonna, ultimately probably going to get me to keep up with this anime. Well, it sounds like we're, what, 50-50 about this. I adore it. You're, yeah. you're, 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 you're not sold yet. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, it's... I mean, you're still willing, but you haven't been sold yet. Like, oh, I love this anime because X, Y, and Z and B. Right. If I hadn't been enticed mm -hmm. by the previous the advertising, that's your enticement. I don't really need to, obviously. I'm okay with Americanized scooters here. I don't need to, even though it's kind of cold in space and it looks like boobs. I'm okay until they want like $20 tips for like small guys. Exactly. I mean, but okay, alien boobs. I mean, you got like four racks going on sometimes if you really like that. But. Otherwise, I will keep watching it because now I need to make sure I give it a chance. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just jump on the bandwagon and say it was the most awesome thing ever because one, it just started. It's so you're a hipster. Oh, I should smack you. Little Ren is no hipster. Little Ren is a hipster. Okay, well then I obviously am an anime hipster. But a, that is what. We think about Space Dandy. I love it. I can't wait to see it in its entirety. You can't wait to see it in its entirety either, so I can make sure that this is actually an anime worth the time. So that's what we think about Space Dandy, but let us know what you think about Space Dandy. Drop your comments down below. Like, hit us up on Facebook, hit us up on Twitter, and also if you have any suggestions on what you feel about the show or future content that you want to see put into a video, just let us know. We'll be more than happy to entertain because we're done here. That works. Okay, it's gonna work one day. It's gonna work probably at a con. You'll see. I'm done. Whatever.